Hello, my name's Andrea Coleman and I'm going to demonstrate for you Art Felt's Sheep Picture Felt Kit. This is a new addition with more sheep and including black sheep. To start your kit, make a white patch and then go on to a warmer coloured patch with your pinks. I'm going to show you how to make these patches with the warmer colours because they're easier to see on camera. First we divide your fibres in half along the length and then we can trap and pull away and we'll be going in the horizontal direction. These patches don't need to be very big, we're going to be cutting your birds out of this colour. Just carry on until you've used a bit of this. You can also mingle it with your lilac. You must keep a little bit of lilac because you might want to use some in your background. So don't use all of it up. So this is your first layer. Quarter turn and now repeat the process, mixing the colours up. It doesn't matter if a bit of your white gets mixed in, it just gives it a little bit more variety. Once you've completed your second layer, you can now use some of the sari silk, pull it apart and sprinkle it all over your work. You can chop it up as well into tiny pieces, if you like. Uh, you need to put a tiny bit more on than you really want because some will fall off. Using your soapy water, sprinkle your patches. You need to get them quite wet. Don't worry about the edges, just as long as the middles are wet, like that. Then we can cover that over with your thin plastic and spread, spread your hands and press down and get the water to work through your fibres. When you've patted down your work, put a little bit of the soapy water on top of your thin plastic and then you can slide your hands up and down your work. You need to spend a minute doing this and then you give it a quarter turn and you go in this direction for a minute and repeat in this direction and then finally like this for another minute. So that's four minutes in total. It might not be quite ready after four minutes but we can have a look. Once you've done your four minutes, give your felt a bit of a pinch and see how easily you can get your fibres. Are they lifting very easily or is, like mine, the whole thing coming up as one piece? If they're very, very stringy, do another four minutes. Otherwise, put it to one side and we'll be using it later. To make the background and make a bigger picture, repeat what you did with the patches, do two layers. Now we can use, starting with your palest blue, we can start the sky. Divide your fibres like you did before and we can start, and I want to cover about halfway down with pale blue. Once you've gone to about halfway with your pale blue, now repeat with your middle colour blue to about a third of the way. Think colours can be quite approximate. Once you've got the two pale blues on, 
you can use your darkest blue and if you want you could angle it slightly like this which looks good almost like rain once you've created your sky you can now start to put the grey green down make sure you cover the very top or rather bottom of your blue and you can actually angle it slightly like hills um, you can take bits off and even curve it round a little bit take this colour quite far down and then we can start to add this duller shade of green layer the rest of your greens using the stronger, brighter colours at the bottom of your picture. When you're happy with your landscape, you can put a little bit of the green silk, just pull it apart, you need very little of it, and it will create a little bit more interest on your picture. To create a, a few little trees in your background, take a tiny bit of the dull green and the grey green together and then mix them together like this, pulling them apart and then mingling the colours. Then you take a very small amount like this, ball it up and with your grey you can create a stalk by rolling it in your hand so then you can put it here. So the grey, you just take a small amount of grey and then roll it in your hands like that and then you can cut a tiny trunk off. To make a bigger tree, take some of your brown and then roll it in your hands like that to create the trunk. And then we can part it, I like to make five branches if I can, and then just twizzle it round in your fingers like this. You'll need to trim a little bit off each branch and also the bottom and spread it a little bit. Then you can start to lay your curly fibres you need to open them up a little bit and don't worry if you need to cut them that's fine it's often the way once you've put your curly fibers on your tree then you could um, using your template you could put a few birds using your pinker felt that we made earlier on, on the tree and also using that if you cut very small amounts of little strips like this you could then put a little bit of blossom on the ground or even on the tree if you like as well but using your template again you can also with the white cut out two larger sheep and three small sheep Put the smaller sheets further away so that the big sheet look like they're closer to you. When you're happy with your picture so far, sprinkle it with soapy water. Whatever you do, be quite gentle and don't blast it so everything moves. If things do move, you can often write them for instance, you could just hold those down a little bit as you wet them. Sometimes the birds move a little bit. Once you've got this thoroughly wet, put your thin plastic on top and then spend a long time pressing. It's really important, this part, because otherwise when you start rubbing, things will move. Now you can repeat the rubbing that you did with your smaller patches, but this time do it 
the same way, one minute in each direction, but repeat it. Do a total of eight minutes and then test your work. Once you've completed your rubbing and your felt is really nice and firm, then we can rinse it out and put it to dry somewhere so we can finish off using the curly fibres to make your sheep. Right. When your picture is dry, we can start by tidying up the edges of your birds. Just angle your needle into your work and that will tidy up these bits. Taking a tiny bit of black, we can ball it up in our fingers and then we can make the eye of the bird. So just poke a few times and then put the black on there. If everything things don't work out, you can actually pull it out at this stage and start again. The most common mistake is making the eye too big. To do a white sheet, we'll start by rolling a small amount of black in your hand to make the legs and then we can cut about one centimetre off. I usually put about three in place. Once you've got your legs in place, you can now put some curly fibres on top. You'll probably have to cut them to size and just lightly poke them into place. And when you've done that, we can put the head on by balling up a little bit of the black wool. And then we'll put it here, and that's the face, like that. Once you've got the head in place, you can give your sheep some ears with a tiny bit of black. We can then poke them in like that. And to finish off, it's always nice to have a little bit of a fringe on your sheep. So you only need a really small amount of curly, but it looks quite nice if it's falling over the sheep's head. You can, all, you can add a bit more of the curly bits to your sheep. Don't forget, whenever you do your needle felting part of this, to have the foam underneath your work so you don't break your needles. To make the black lambs, take a small amount of black fibres and wrap it round your finger then take it off, put it in place and poke with your needle to get it where you want it and to keep it in place. Then we'll add the legs using the grey fibres, exactly in the same way as we did with the white sheep I showed you earlier. Once you've got the legs on your black lamb, you can then put your curly fibres on there and then to finish off with the head you can ball up some grey fibres and do exactly the same as you did for your white sheep with the grey to make the head. Once you've finished your front sheep you can put them all in different positions. Do the same with your smaller sheep at the back. Um, keep them small, otherwise it will look out of proportion. And congratulations, you're finished. 
If you enjoyed making your sheet kit, maybe you'd like to make my new mermaid picture kit or the elephant picture kit.